welcome to Big Scott 35. Uh, today we're going to go look at uh, tops.com stuff. Uh, all tops.com. Um, we're going to start off, it shouldn't be too quick, too long, it should be quicker, uh, with some Star Wars living, which you know. Uh, I love it when they kind of have a theme. Uh, this is Zeb Aurelius, uh, Star Wars Rebels, and Chewbacca from New Hope. I think they've done him before, but I think it's the Chewbacca from the Solo um, show, uh, movie. But these two are connected because they're kind of the, not the same exact character, but they have kind of the same background. Zeb's uh, planet was taken in to, uh, to be slaves, the same as Chewbacca, and he thought everybody was wiped out, but he actually found some in the cartoon. Actually, a bunch of, not a bunch, but survivors. And Chewbacca freed his uh, fellow Wookiees. So, kind of interesting when they do that. And it also came with a checklist, which is one of the, that's one of the hardest things to get uh, when when people are looking for, uh, for cards. Uh, Wes Jansen from uh, The Empire Strikes Back. And this is Emer Watt Tambor, Star Wars, The Clone Wars. He's one of the uh, generals. So, very nice. I love of that series. Keep picking those up. Now, this one is Tops.com, but I actually went back on eBay. This is their first card that they came out with, with the uh, WWE uh, living set. A lot of people are not liking it, but, you know, I Stone Cold during the Attitude Series, you, you know, why he, he was the guy, one of the guys. I really, it, it, everybody enjoyed watching him, um, didn't know, you know, when he was going to strike. And, uh, you know, and him and The Undertaker and was two bigger ones, and that's the two cards I've gotten so far in that set. I have since bought a third one which will be coming. Uh, I really love this series. This is uh, the uh, a Game Within the Game series. Uh, artwork by Paul Jenis uh, on this one. This is Roberto Clemente. They have a Don Mattingly right now, which is really, really nice. I'll keep going back and forth if I want to get it. It just doesn't really fit my PC other than the fact I just like that card. This has been a great series. I have the Trout one. Uh, beautiful cards. Beautiful. Um, yeah, that's all I can say about it. Uh, then this is the Sports Illustrated uh, series. Uh, Ken Griffey. Strawberry. Mr. Longball. Really enjoying this series by Tops. In Sports Illustrated, then the Turn Back the Clocks for Tops Now, Mike Piazza, Dwight Gooden, and then Top Now and <laughs> for Mets. And you're going to see, <laughs> I said it before, the Grom pitches, and it's going to be that was Jonathan Villar who's having a pretty good season. Jacob DeGrom, <laughs> Jacob DeGrom. Jacob DeGrom, which I'm trying to figure out. You can see where this one is a different color. And I can't figure out why. And it's the same as these two. They're different pictures, but for the same thing. And, uh, yeah, this is ODB5. So I got to figure that out. Somebody knows, please let me know. It's got that gold background. <sighs> so, but Jacob DeGrom, who's having, he should be back next week. Uh, Dwight Gooden, this is going to be Project 70s. Actually, I like this one. Cool picture, cool design. Uh, this is going to be, I don't want to, uh, Oh, 65, I was going to say newer, but I like that. And, and keeping in the theme of 60s, you know, pink and bright colors. They even got like, you know, little 60s vibe going on in the front there. And this one is done by uh, Clark. 
Claudia Gold or simply or claw money okay there you have it uh, this is another one I like uh, Cal Ripken with a bunch of Orioles flying around him this is going to be 2013 baseball design by Chuck Styles. And uh, I read somewhere online this week that Topps bought a company <laughs> to get these. And because uh, it's a weird, it really, I, it doesn't really fit in the regular uh, bags. I had to kind of figure out which one to put it in because it's just weird. Uh, Pete Alonzo, I actually missed this one. I, uh, I missed, I was going to buy it because, you know, it's on there for three days or whatever. Um, and last week I had a hell of a time getting on to buy, uh, one that I really wanted and I just missed it. And I had to go, I went on, um, uh, eBay and paid the same price and got it. So, and this one is by, uh. This is an 83 top space ball by New York Nico. So, I like that one. You know, I, I think people are going too far into what art is, what they think it is. And, you know, yeah, there, there's even one you could tell came off of Getty Images and he just put it on their card. But it's all in the eye of a beholder. Uh, Trout, another one. I these plain just you know I, I really just like them it's just nice cards nice and clean 1955 tops baseball by Lauren Taylor really clean design really nice it's got like him catching it's got different things there you can pick out in the background and uh, this one here uh, Francisco Lindor with the Mets can't get any regular tops cards yet with him with the Mets, but this is 75 design. And this is a Jeff Staple who's already done a few because this I'm wondering if you put these together, like does it make a puzzle? Because he's had this background in a few. And is it gonna be like the sub subway station wall with the graffiti on it or something? I'm kinda interested if anybody gets all of all of those. Next is going to be the Tops Now Opening Day Autograph Edition team set. And it seems like nobody got their autograph with their team set. It will ship on a later day. Um, with me and Tops right now, I'll be lucky to ever see that. And I'm sorry to say that, but uh, I hate to be pessimistic, but Tops and me are just not getting along very well. Um, so we got the team set here. Edwin Diaz is my, my numbered card. Which, if you ever heard me rant about Edwin Diaz, I could have picked about 28 other players that I would have rather had. And I saw Mike go to the Phillies, and they had a couple of questionable ones for the for top snacks. This is supposed to be their opening day. So this is out of 10. So that's not bad. Guess that's a red. Francisco Lindor. And the only time I get Mets, him in a Mets uniform is on tops now, so. Conforto, Nemo, Dominic Smith, who's about the only one on the starting day roster that's playing right now. Him and McMahon, Pete Alonzo. McNeil, J.D. Davis, McCann, I said McMahon, should be McCann. So McCann and Dominic Smith are the only two, I think, that are active, unless it's something changed yesterday. Jacob DeGrom, Carlos Carrasco, who's supposed to be back in June. Noah, who's supposed to be back in June. Marcus Stroman, who's having a good year. He's not hurt, but he wasn't on the starting day roster. 
this guy he's been kind of up and down but more ups than down <laughs> david peterson just stand by the wall we need you real quick <laughs> oh that, that's <laughs> oh tops that's the best picture you can do was he not out there on the field on his other ones because this is a preseason game that's the uh <laughs> from st patrick's day that's the best okay thank you and there's the edwin diaz non-colored uh card so uh there you have it that's the uh tops now um set for op the opening day version that i purchased uh who knows when i'll get the autographs i know autographs are tough because of the covid situation uh I, my problem is me and Tops. I, I am still missing items from a year ago, and they will not get back in touch with me. Uh, but what do you do? Uh, when they're the only, you know, do I go strictly Panini? I, I, what do you do? I mean, Tops is where the baseball cards are at. So until next time, uh, leave a like, share, comment. Uh, let me know what you think about any of these tops.com or if you're looking to purchase any tops.com. I enjoy looking every day just to see what they have. And uh, until next time, see ya.